You're watching Utah's number one news channel. This is 2 News This Morning. Good morning, just about 742 right now, and it was this time one week ago when our feature reporter, Brooke Graham, <laughs> had something happen to her on live TV that's been played around yes. the world since then. That infamous moment yeah. where she collapsed on air, and Brooke is here now. She's with a doctor from Intermountain Medical Center to talk about why it may have possibly happened. Hey, Brooke. Hi, you guys. I'm pretty sure that video is going to follow me for the rest of my life, so we might as well get an explanation about it. I'm here with Dr. Jared Bunch here from Intermountain Medical Center, and you are a cardiologist, so you see people passing out all the time, and I think people out there kind of want to know what happens when someone passes out. What is actually going on in the body? Well, it's typically what we call a faint, uh, which most people attribute to a faint. And what happens is the blood pressure begins to fall, and get, or, or a baseline was low, and then starts to fall further. And the heart tries to make up the difference by beating very quickly. And unfortunately, in doing that, makes the blood pressure go even lower, and then you pass out. As soon as you hit the ground, then you wake right back up, because you need a lot less blood pressure lying down than standing up. And so usually, if you faint, uh, you end up feeling okay when you when you hit the ground and you come too quickly. Yeah, I as I've said, I felt totally fine when I sat up. I felt a lot better than I had been standing, so oh, yeah. that explains why. Um, and people have kind of told me all about their different stories and their experiences. And when people come to, sometimes they cry or they throw up or different things happen. What what's going on to make yeah. that occur? Well, a lot of things can happen. The, the thing we worry about the most that you did very well is you landed gracefully. <laughs> on um, snow, in, thankfully. On snow. <laughs> but most people, about two-thirds, uh, end up hurting themselves. And they can hit their head on the ground or on a ledge or fall downstairs. And then they can come to very confused because of the injury. Um, a lot of people, though, as part of this, this reflex of the heart going too fast, it can make them feel flushed or warm. They can feel nauseated. Uh, and that can linger after a little bit. So some people can vomit after or feel very nauseated. And some people can feel fatigued for reasons we don't fully know. It may be the body dealing with the stress of the event. Okay. And w talking about my video and what happened with me, you think it was a bunch of different factors. And you said a lot of times it is a bunch of different factors kind of all working together. Yeah, yeah, usually it is. And it's, it, it's usually in people that have baseline low blood pressure. You're young and fit. Your blood pressure is probably no, normal to low. Um, then it, you may have an illness or you may not have eaten that day, so your blood pressure is a little bit lower. Both true. And then high altitude and skiing, it can dehydrate you. We do have yes. people all the time that, that are vigorous in the slopes that don't drink enough, and then they, they end up becoming dehydrated and feeling ill from that and the effects of that. You lose a lot of water skiing at a high altitude just from, from, from loss. We usually attribute it to sweating, but it's things that can happen at high altitude in the cold. Interesting. Okay. Well, I learned a lot, and I hope you guys all did at home. Um, I am feeling totally fine, but of course, I'm going to keep doing these tests and see if there is anything wrong, but as of now, I'm feeling great, and thankfully, I did fall on the snow, but <laughs> if anybody else has any questions, they can come see you guys at Intermountain Medical Center. Absolutely. Our heart team would love to see anybody. Anybody that does pass out at least, it, particularly those that have passed out more than once, we would mm -hmm. like to see. There's some rare things that we like to exclude. Yes. Most of the time, we, we can help people by having them hydrate, stay active, use salts if needed, but we'd love to see anybody. Okay, and as of now, I'm going to stay in the valley the rest of the day today, yeah. <laughs> just to play it safe until we oh, find your that video out. video sensation, you vital. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> again, I'm never going to live that down, but anyways, that was a great explanation. Thank you, Dr. Bunch, and I'll pass it back you. to you guys. All right, okay. thank you, Brooke. We're glad to hear that you're doing well.